typically start this tour by talking a little bit about the house behind us. This is the house that Jack's wife Charmian had built uh, in his honor primarily. She wanted something to honor Jack's life and his work, but she didn't want to rebuild the Wolf House. It was 15,000 square feet, much bigger than what she needed and much more expensive than what she wanted to, to invest. So she had a smaller version of the Wolf House built. And she called it the House of Happy Falls. She wanted it to be a memorial to Jack's life and his work. Unlike Jack, Charmian uh, didn't spend money that she didn't have. And so it took her about five years to accumulate enough money to complete the house. But she insisted on having rocks from the same, uh, lava rocks from the same quarry as the Wolf House. So these rocks came from across the valley where the rocks from the Wolf House were, were quarried. The red tile roof is the same. The archway entrance is very similar to the archway entrance of the Wolf House. So she wanted to make a smaller version of it. Um, the house was intended to receive guests and entertain guests and as living quarters for Charmian. So the bottom floor was designed to be the place where Jack's works and his library and the things that they collected on their travels around the world could be displayed and where she would host guests and have meals with them. The upper floor was, was her living quarters. And so even though it's all now pretty much an open room, uh, it was designed in her lifetime as living quarters. It's now part of the museum, obviously. She lived here for about 10 years. Um, and in year 10, she fell off a horse and broke her hip. And so getting up to the second floor became problematic. There was no elevator, no lift. So she moved back to the cottage in about 1935. And that's where she stayed until she died in 1955. And so, the cottage is, is it on this block or is it somewhere else? The cottage is not on this block. It's it, a different part. Yeah, this is the eastern part of the property. The cottage is over on a, a portion of the property we refer to as the Beauty Ranch. That's where all the ranching activity took place. That's where the farming, the crops, the raising of animals, and that's where they were. So Jack and Charmian, the entire time of Jack was alive, when he lived on the property, he and Charmian lived on the property. And after she fell and broke the hip, she moved back to the house. She didn't stay there. So this house was boarded up uh, after she moved out. She always intended for it to become a museum. state where they exchanged property for tax relief. And so the state originally acquired the first part of the property, which is where we are now, the museum, the gravesite, and the wolf house. In 1959, did some restoration work uh, in here, particularly to set it up as a museum. Obviously, after 20 years of not being used or open, there was some cleanup work, display work that had to be done. But it opened in 1960, and it's been open ever since as a museum. Um, we're going to hike down, it's about a half mile down, almost all downhill, which means coming back it's almost all uphill. Along the trail, uh, there's one porta potty, I'll point that out. There are several places where you can get water. Uh, you'll see signs cautioning you about rattlesnakes, mountain lions, and poison oak. This is not the time of year where we worry about <laughs> rattlesnakes. Uh, <laughs> Do they hibernate? Yeah, they do. Well, they, they don't like cold, so they'll stay hidden, basically a hibernation state mm -hmm. while it's cold. It's during the summertime that we keep our eyes open for them. Mountain lions, this is mountain lion habitat. I don't know of any sightings or problems with mountain lions other than the fact that we've seen deer that look like they've been taken down by mountain lions. So the signs are there, cautionary measures. Poison oak is a reality. The safest way to stay clear of all of that stuff is stay on the trail. 